Hi guys, this is Joe Kelly. Um, today we're going to be talking about whether you're being too hard on yourself and we're going to be looking at what that feels like, why you're doing that and how you can get out of that loop. Okay, so um, I'll also be sharing a free training afterwards. So um, stay till then so that I can give you the goodies. And let's start diving into the topic. So a lot of actors talk about hearing a voice inside their head, talking about, talk about having an inner critic, talk about judging themselves and being, being in stuck in really kind of having a high expectation of the way they should or they shouldn't act a specific scene. And um, the reason why you might be doing that is because you're trying to act the scene the right way, as if there was a right way to act it, right? So let's say you have a scene and then you get an idea of how it should be done and because you're aiming for that and you're trying to get there, um, there's constantly a voice up there going, oh no, it should be more like this and it should be more like that. And the, the reason why you're gonna loop um, judgment on yourself that's gonna get harder and harder is because you're imagining something that's not true. There, there is no right way to do a scene. There is no... Um, there is no good way of doing it. The only way to do it is your way, right? So when the, a writer writes a scene, he doesn't have a specific and close idea of how it should be. He has that going on for his writing. And then the director has maybe a vision of how the whole story goes. And your responsibility is to bring your take on the scene and on the character, what's the, on what your character is going through. So when you're inventing in your head that there is a right and a good way to do a scene so that it will satisfy the people in the room or the director, well, you're living a lie. There is no right way to do a scene. They couldn't be because every actor will do it differently if they're authentic and if they're free, they'll do it in a very unique way. So when you're aiming for that thing that doesn't exist, Basically, you're going for something that's not there. So you're looping because you can't ever get there since it doesn't exist, right? So do you see what's happening? You have a scene. You're wanting to do it right and well. You're wanting to look good, basically, because you're, you're, you have an idea that there is such a thing to do it right. So you have that thing here. And so you work on that. You work on getting it right. And inevitably, you can't get it right because there is no right. And since you can't find a solution to that thing you gave yourself, which is I have to do it right, well, inevitably, there'll be a voice and a judgment and hard feelings on, ah, you can't get it right and you should do it this way and that way because there is no solution to the problem you gave yourself. You're giving yourself a lie of a problem, a fake problem. There is no right. And if you keep trying to go for the right, you will loop endlessly without ever finding it. And because you don't find it, then you have an inner critique, a judgment, a voice inside the head that goes, you're stupid, you're not good enough, you can't do it. Well, no, because you're running after something that doesn't exist. Does that make sense? Why are you inventing that there is something right is because you have been trained that way. You've been educated, you've been conditioned, programmed, um, formatted to always do what people were telling you was right. So suppress your emotions uh, when you're in public. That's the right thing to do. If you're really happy and joyful, turn your voice down. That's right. If you're really hungry, wait for others to start. That's right. If, um, if you're, you want to eat voraciously the food because you love it and you want to say something at the same time, shut your mouth. That's right. Um, if you want to run around naked, don't do it. Put some clothes on. That's right. That's home, right? And then you go to school and then what's right is to sit down. What's right is to shut up. What's right is to go to the bathroom when you're told and not when you need to pee. 
So there's always a right. There's a, you're also being told what to learn and what to believe in. There's right is everywhere in our life, in our conditioning. That is where your solution is. It's your conditioning that traps you into that loop of, oh, there's something right, so I need to get to it. And, there, I, and I keep trying to get to it, but there is none. So I keep insulting myself and I'm being harder and harder and harder on myself because I can't find that right thing. Can't get to it. It doesn't exist. So the only way to not have those feelings of being hard on yourself is not to turn the inner critique down, is to actually realize that you have been conditioned and you cannot function differently until you undo the conditioning, until you unformat, undo the program, undo the straightening jacket, you know, like, like get out of that cage. You're right now, you're locked up, worse than in confinement. You're completely locked up in a conditioning that suppresses everything that is true for you in order for you to aim for what's right, because you were told to do that since you were born. And since there is no such thing, well, you're gonna have to start undoing that program. So you can have access to what's real for you. Right now, you don't have access to what's real for you. You only have access to the wiring that was wired into you, which is you, ha you, you need to go for what's right. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you undo your conditioning so that you can find that real version of you, that instinctive, limitless, powerful artist inside of you that's unique. And, and, and that's when you can bring a performance in the audition room or in the, on set or on stage or whatever that is way beyond bil billions of times more interesting than being right, whatever that is, because there is no right. When you can be you, when you can be fully you, free, open, truthful, alive, present, that is knock it out of the park kind of thing. That is greatness. So you want to make sure that you don't stay stuck in trying to be good and trying to be right because it's really preventing you from being extraordinary, alive, free, great, brilliant. That, that, that's what's behind this door of trying to be right. You know, or maybe you don't know, so I'm gonna say it again, that during this um, coronavirus confinement, the way that we're supporting you guys is to offer you guys a buy one, get one free. Um, if you wanna do the reset journey and start to undo the conditioning and wake up your instinct and start really being able to tap into your greatness, it's an ideal time because you have time and because all of those things are there ready to you know, jump out of you. Um, and if it doesn't feel like the ideal time budget wise, find another friend that's wanting to train. Uh, you can't go to acting class and you have all this time so you can get out of this confinement period really being yourself and then just split the cost. I'm gonna share a free resource that's called um, Stop Trying to Be Good So You Have a Chance at Being Great. If you haven't had that free training yet, I recommend it and I don't show you the steps to start. And if you're ready to dive in and you want to reset your instrument to be completely free and not trying to be right anymore, and you want to use this time and you want to use this buy one, get one free so you can get it at 50%, leave me a message in the comments so that my team or myself can reach out to you through Messenger and um, we can give you the information you need to join the program. All right? Okay, guys.